hello everyone uh, welcome to my channel and uh, this video is uh, regarding how to use the uh, openwrt build system to apply the patches for the linux kernel and what is the methodology in which we'll be able to successfully apply patch uh, make some few changes to the target files that we need to make the changes in the kernel source code and what is the method that we use to apply these patches at the runtime so let me walk you through these steps one by one and then we'll see uh, how to compile the kernel with the patch that I have created. So I'm just going to the uh, OpenAbility build space. So this is OpenAbility workspace that is chosen. And what I'm trying to do is that I'll be trying to prepare my kernel so that the source code of the kernel will get downloaded and then uh, we'll be in a position to uh, see what are the different files that are present and what kind of uh, file that I'm trying to edit in the Linux kernel. So I'll be using a command called make target by Linux by clean comma prepare v is equal to x quilt is equal to 1 so i'll be using the quilt method to uh, create a patch and then work with the patch so hit enter this command uh, if uh, the kernel source code is not already downloaded it will perform the downloading and then it will extract the kernel source code and keep it running. now the prerequisite for this is uh, you need to have your entire openwrt workspace built at least once make sure that the tool chain and all these things are up and running so once the tool chain and rest of the things are up and running, then you can work with this particular method to create the patch. So as you can see, the command is running and then it is performing the uh, extraction of the Linux source code 5.15.141, which I'm using for my target platform, the banana pie. And now the command is success. So let's go and see that where we'll be able to create the patches for this. So I'm going into the folder of build directory, into the target and into the Linux folder. So my Linux is built for the MediaTek PyLogic platform. So this is a folder name that is getting created. If your platform is a little different one, then the name of this particular folder might be different depending on the platform. So if I hit enter, I can see that there is a folder called Linux 5.15.141 is created. This is where the entire source code of the Linux kernel will be present. Now, what is the uh, patch that I'm trying to create today is to enable a custom software hierarchy. So I'm creating a custom interrupt handler in the software hierarchy method and for doing that operation I need to make some code changes on the Linux kernel directly. I cannot do it directly on the fly on the kernel module. I need to enable few things in the kernel and then depending on that changes I'll be making the changes in the kernel module. So let me uh, see what are the different patches that I already have for this particular kernel. Let me apply all of them and then create the patch one by one. So the very first command that we are going to use to see that what patches are available is quilt series. This will show you the entire uh, patches that are available for this particular uh, kernel. And I'm just coming down and this is the last patch that is present. So what I'll do is I'll be using a command called, uh, remember this folder name. This is uh, pretty much important like where this thing will be applied. So I'm clearing the screen and using the method called quilt push hyphen a this will apply all the patches that are present and then it will make the uh, it will just apply all the patches for the current linux kernel so it will take a little bit of time So now the patches uh, is successfully applied. So what we have to do now is since all the patches are applied, we need to create a new patch where I'll be creating my, uh, where I'll be using that patch to add my custom logic. So what I'm doing is I'm using quilt new and I'm typing a command, I'm giving the name of the patch. So I'm giving 1001-sami-soft-irq.patch. Now this will be creating a patch and it tells that the patch is now on top, indicating that now, whatever the code changes that you do, it will go and fit in this particular patch file so that when you are recompiling the kernel, you can apply this patch and then compile the entire kernel. Now, once this uh, command output is coming successfully here, what we need to do is we need to edit the source code file uh, in which I need to add the changes for the custom logic that I'm implementing. So for that purpose, the command I'll be using is quilt edit. And 
since I know the file which I'm directly editing, I'm directly giving that file path. Uh, but please be sure that in your case, you are clearly knowing that what file you are editing and what kind of changes you are doing. So in my case, I'm just editing the file in the include folder, in the Linux folder, and interrupt.h. I'm directly changing the interrupt.h header file. So when I hit enter, I'll be getting this uh, header file that will get opened. And this is the interrupt.h header file that is present. And in this specific header file, I'm adding a soft IRC. So I'm searching for something called soft IRC. And I'll be coming to this enum where I need to add my custom IRC. So I'm just coming to this particular line and then hit enter. And then I'm adding a soft IRC method called sami underscore soft IRC. This has added a new enum in the system. So now when I'm trying to create a new uh, when I'm trying to open the soft IRC in my kernel module, I can use this enum to open a soft IRC. Uh, that I'll show in the later section of this uh, session. But now we'll see that how we are going to enable this uh, enum. Now once this enum is entered here and then we have entered a custom enum to figure out that okay, this is a new soft IRC I'm going to create. We need to enable a few more things uh, to make sure that the kernel recognizes this. So I'll just quit this thing. And before we go and edit the second file, now let's see what are the differences that we have made so far. So you can use the command called quilt diff to see that these are the differences that you have made the changes. So in the Linux by interrupt.h, you have created two lines. The first line is the enter and the second line is where we have added an enum. So these are the two changes that are present in the interrupt.h. And what I'm doing is I'm editing the second file. I'm using the command called quilt edit. Inside the kernel, there is a soft IRC.c file is present where the entire uh, code for handling the soft IRC is present. So I'm just editing this file directly. And if you come to the starting of the header file, uh, starting of the C file, there are a couple of things that are present how this soft IRC is working. You can go through this to understand a little bit. But uh, discussing soft IRC is out of this session. Now, this is not the context of it. So I'm directly showing you where the changes need to be present. So I'm just searching for a function called raise soft IRC. So this is one of the function that I need to export the symbol so that I can use it in my kernel module. Now we load this function. I'm writing called export underscore symbol and give this function name. And come to the raise soft IRC. Use the same method to export the symbols. So I'm using raise soft IRC and I'm coming way down here and I'm exporting one more symbol called open software. So these are the three changes that I've done in the uh, softirc.c file. Now, if you come back and then use the command called quilt diff, you'll be able to clearly see that the patch is updated. Now the patch has uh, four changes. The first change is present in the interrupt.h header file, which is adding a enum and coming to the next three things. I have done in the kernel by softirq.c where I have added an export symbol for this function, this function, and this function. So three functions I have uh, exported the symbols in the uh, kernel. Now, since I'm comfortable with this thing telling that, okay, my patch is successful, I mean, whatever the changes that I've done so far are successful, I'll be using quilt, quilt and refresh in order to update my patch. So when I hit enter, the patch will get updated here. And then it will tell that uh, 1001 SAMI soft IRC patch is created. Now there is a warning for the trailing white space. Uh, the extra white space that I created is skipped. Uh, that's okay for now. You can ignore that. And then uh, let's continue with how to export this. So when I'm coming to the main directory where I have run the prepare command, at the same position, issue another command called make. Let me clear the screen. Make target by Linux by update v is equal to x command. Now when you issue this command, the patch will get created. So give it a little bit of time and then the patch will get created for you. So it has exported all the patches. Now uh, what we'll do is we'll be using the find command to find the patch where it is located. So I'm using find dot hyphen name and 1001 hyphen sami hyphen soft irc dot patch now you can see that this is present at this location 
if you want you can open this patch and see so these are all the changes that are present in the patch and now we need to make sure that this patch goes into a proper location uh, where when we try to recompile the entire kernel it will be uh, applied properly so in order to do that uh, what we have to do is uh, we'll be going into a directory call so there will be a directory call target by linux by mediatek and again this is for the mediatek phylogic platform that i am building depending on your soc and your platform the folder locations might be different if you are using qualcomm ipq or any other platforms your folder locations might be different consult your uh, open wrt documentation of where you need to keep the patch so in my case it will be patches 5.15 and in this directory i need to copy the entire patch so what i'll do is i'll use the copy command and use this location and then copy the patch into this directory so the patch is copied now let's check that whether the patch is present or not target by linux by mediatek by patches by since i'm building for 5.15 kernel it should be present in this location so this is the patch that is uh, present and then this patch will get applied now up to this point we have seen the way of how to create a patch how to make the changes using the quilt command how to export the diffs and then how to copy that particular patch file into a target location where we can use it for the further future reference now let me go ahead and recompile everything to see that whether the patch is successfully applied or not so just clearing the screen and now i am using the command called make target by linux by clean comma compile v is equal to s now this time i am not using any quilt or now i am not using any prepare because already my patch is generated i am trying to recompile the entire kernel from scratch and apply my patch on top of that and then recompile everything now this will make sure that the kernel is generated properly so hit enter it will take certain amount of time but uh, now we'll see that whether our patch is applied successfully or not and then uh, we'll switch to the final mode where the uh, kernel will be built just give it some time it will take a little bit of time to get built So now it is extracting the kernel. And now it is applying the patches. Now once the uh, kernel compilation starts, yes, now the kernel compilation is starting. Now let's go and see that whether our patch is applied or not. So you just press Ctrl S uh, or whatever the search function, search command that you configured in your terminal and then here below type called 1001 hyphen sami hyphen soft irq dot patch now hit enter you will be able to see that the patch is applied here in this way so it is searched in this particular location and it has patched two files include the linux by internet dot h and kernel by soft irq dot c so these are the two files that the patch has applied now just go and visually see that we'll visually see that whether the changes have been incorporated or so i'm going into the previous folder as a type ls nothing will be present here because uh, the clean command is run and the entire directory was deleted and recreated so you just need to come one step back and then go into the folder again now you can see the entire folders so just go ahead and open the file include by linux by internet.h you can see that sami soft irq is present and Similarly, open kernel by soft irq dot c, and your export symbols are also present. And these changes are applied from the patch. So, the changes are applied and the patch is applied. Now, the kernel compilation is going on. So, once the kernel compilation is completed, we'll see that whether the export symbols that we have done are recognized properly or not by writing a kernel module, compiling a kernel module. So I'm just going to skip directly to that location where the kernel is already compiled and then we can take it forward because this will take certain amount of time to compile. Okay, now we can see that the kernel is completely compiled. So let's go and see that whether these particular symbols that I've exported now are actually being recognized in the kernel module or not. So I'm just going back to the source code and i'm going to a package 
inside the package I'm going to my folder called sunny and inside this I'm going to the SRC folder where I've created all of these files you can uh, access all this file via my github link that I'm mentioning in the comment section and this is the specific file that I'm currently interested in so I'm just opening this file software key uh, so what is the software key doing is uh, Mm, this is actually using a method called open soft IR key. You can see here it is present. So I'm requesting the IR key here and then it is opening the soft IR key. And you can see that here the soft IR key enum that I've used that I've created in the kernel is written here. So if I'm trying to compile this module, now we should be able to compile this module successfully and the kernel module should be built. So in order to check that what I'm doing is I'm coming to the main screen where the kernel is compiled and I'm just clearing the screen. And I'm issuing the command called snake package by sami by clean comma compile v is equal to s. Now this will compile my custom kernel module by enabling the custom software IRK method. So it is invoking the open the build command and now it is compiling the package called sami. Now you can see that one by one it will uh, compile all the files that are present in the as per the um, sequence of execution that I have written in the make file and then it will get the output kernel module. Uh, let's give it some time. Okay, it started the compilation and uh, you can see that the soft IRQ is compiled. So the object file is generated. Now here is the object file that is generated and then using that the soft IRQ dot kernel object is also generated, which is a kernel module. So our changes in the kernel has recognized properly and that particular custom enum what I have created it is recognizing in my custom code. So this is a way of how to add a patch into the kernel and how to use that patch to how to use the particular changes to create a custom kernel module with soft IRQ methodology. Hope you enjoyed the session and please give me in the comments like how to improve this thing much further. Thank you.